Hey guys, RC here, back with Season 6, Episode 1. Uh, just to catch you up on a couple of things. So, coming up, I'm recording this on November 15th. This will go up uh, next week, uh, beginning of the week. Uh, keep an eye out for uh, an upcoming announcement. Uh, I will be doing a giveaway for this game, Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20. Uh, you will get a free game code. Anybody can enter. And so just be watching for that announcement. Uh, I will probably do a video um, right around Thanksgiving, so in about two weeks. And uh, we'll have more information there. I'll tell you how to register, how we're going to do it, how the giveaway will work. Um, and, uh, but it will be for a copy of this game, PFS 20 or DDS PF 20. Um, and, uh, I've already talked to, uh, Gary Gorski, the, uh, owner of, uh, of Wolverine studios. He's, uh, been nice enough to, uh, to offer up a game code for, uh, for one of you guys. Um, I am going to open it to everybody on my channel, not just those of you watching this game. Uh, because the goal is to, you know, help Gary, uh, you know, expose his games and products to other people uh, and, you know, to take care of people on my channel, no matter what uh, game or save they're watching. So uh, just a heads up, wanted to let you guys know. Uh, but again, that will come out right around Thanksgiving. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm speculating that we'll let the contest run for about a month and we'll do the, the giveaway uh, right around Christmas. And uh, now I don't know what Gary's holiday plans are or, you know, what days he'll take off. You know, a lot of people take off between Christmas and New Year's. So it may be after the first of the year that you actually get the game code. Uh, but I will be reaching out to him uh, with the winner information. But anyway, just a heads up. So if you don't own the game yet, uh, they do have a beta, uh, a, a, a a beta save, not a beta save, what do they call it? A, a trial that you can download and try out a season, I believe it is, uh, for free. So check it out. But if you haven't bought the game yet, heads up, I am doing that giveaway. So we've kicked off the new season. I just kind of went through the staff hiring phase. I kept the same staff from last year's uh, Super Bowl run team and uh, didn't need anything there. Hmm. Let's take a look here. Uh, we did sign Ken Brown, a uh, fullback in free agency. Uh, so there's his stats. He's got yeah, middling strength, but he's actually a pretty good run blocker. Uh, pretty good run blocker. So uh, two years experience, but he hasn't played for anybody. So uh, anyway, we, we signed him. I needed a fullback. Oh, Demarcus Lawrence retired. Really? Oh, he was only 32. Elliot retired. He's only 29. I just gave you a new contract. I just signed you to a new deal. Oh, that's brutal. Holy shit. I honestly did not notice those two guys retired. Joe Thomas retired, and those are huge hits for us. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's check our roster out. Uh, running back. He's got speed. He's got hands. He's got some agility. Nine yards of carry. High Watson was the one that got a lot of playing time last year. Oh, my goodness. A lot of speed, very good hands. And he... Only 2.9 yards of carry, though. Ooh. A defensive end. Joe Jackson. Okay, well, I'm really glad now that we did re-sign him last year. 
Wow. Oh my God, that is huge. All right. So we de <laughs> we definitely have a need there. Um, let's look at roster management position counts. All right. So I certainly need a running back. I need a wide receiver, I need a center, and I need two linebackers. I would like a defensive end if I can get one, and I would like that and a running back pretty high. Um, wide receiver I think we're good at, and what about center? Flores. Flores is our starter. Yeah. All right. So I'm okay at center. I need a backup center. So first round pick's probably going to be a D end. Probably a second round pick on a running back. Unless nobody jumps out. And then we'll want wide receiver, center, linebackers scattered throughout there as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six out of seven rounds. All right, well, let's get to it. Uh, draft until human. Yep. Uh, war room. Oh, close view. View players. All right, Clarence Amos and Mark Dean. Clarence Amos, right there. Do I really want, want him? Do I have a defensive end that's anywhere? Now, see, that's the thing. If I don't have a DN near the top, Dana Scott. Speed, pathetic. Uh, I just really don't like the gray, the grayness of this, right? <laughs> All right. Um, well, if we take everything into consideration, then a linebacker, where's the center here? There he is, Mark Dean out of Notre Dame. Strength, awful. Run blocking is average. We go up to the linebacker. Could almost play defensive end. That would actually, and he's 6'5", so he could probably move to DN. Strength is average. Agility is good. Speed is average. You know what? Let's go ahead and draft him. Clarence Amos, uh, draft player. Boom. That's how you do that. <laughs> All right. So we have the 31st pick. Oh, my God. All right. Um, view players. All right. Michael Barrera. So pretty unanimous pick here. Walter Andrews. Speed, unexceptional. Michael Barrera out of Georgia. Do not tackle high, so his strength is pretty good. Acceptable, acceptable. Terrible hands, though. Well, it does fill a need. I don't ha And see, we're already down into a round. Well, let's see. Hold on. Um, corner line. I don't really want to take another linebacker already. So he's in the round two to three. So this would be around where to pick him. Uh, William Collins. But I really need a running back, I think, more than a center. So let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with the coaches here. We'll 
we'll go with the coaches here. All right, now they're saying an, a linebacker, Cable or Armstrong, the center. Well, Cable's around two, so we'd be getting a good value here. He does have off the field issues. Strength, speed, tackling, yeah. And who's the other guy, John Armstrong? Not the strongest, but strong enough to hold his own. Deficient. Deficient and awful. I don't see anything in there to like. <laughs> Do you guys? Uh, there's a DN, Irvin Canales out of Chattanooga. Shows up early, stays late, finishes tackles well. Speed. Yeah. All right. Don't like that. Damn. I'm going to go with Armstrong, I think. I'm leaning, you know, since we have two coaches there. Does suck picking that late in the draft. <laughs> I would definitely like to trade out if I could, but I don't know if I can. And the trading is a little difficult, honestly. Uh, view players. All right, so we've got Weathers, Weinberg, or Egan. Well, Egan is high. There's Weathers. 6'2", 218. Fine catching ability. Often comes down even with the ball, even when pressured, and he's smart. So... Speed is average. Hands are average. I do want a receiver. Who was the other guy? Weinberg. There he is. Wow, he's way down there. Six foot four. Speed is pedestrian. Hands are deficient. Nah, I like the other guy better. Um, now, I do have a defensive end here. Bad strength. Bad speed. That doesn't help me a lot. I'm probably going to have to pick up a couple of guys in the late free agency. Uh, so, we're gonna. I'm going to say uh, Weathers. Where's he at? Here, Weathers. There he is. All right, we're going to draft him. Close that view. Pick until human. All right, fifth round, 31st pick. All right, linebackers, and they are split. John Metz, nobody is talking about. Tackles well. Subpar. Subpar. Michael Pace. Sufficient speed to become a defensive end. All right, so deficient speed, awful tackling. All right, I'm looking for this Frank Rose guy. Uh, they're all linebackers. Let's clear that. Just look at linebackers. 
All right. Frank Rose finishes tackles. Speed's deficient. Tackling's good. All right. Bernard Johnson right there. Good tackles. Strength. Fine strength. Terrible tackling. Awful speed. And Randall Murray. Tackling's terrible. Speed's pedestrian. Well, good tackling. I guess we'll go there. All right. Two tackles and a tight end. Neither one that I really need. Well, Michael Pace. They wanted us to draft him earlier, did they not? And I needed another linebacker. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and draft him. And he's the only one listed still is. So, he's he's a value pick. Right? That's the that's the cool thing to say. Yeah, I'm going to go with the value pick. <laughs> We're getting good value here. It's just how it is. Uh, oh. And I didn't. God damn it. Damn it. I only had linebacker picked. You probably saw that. You were screaming at me. I feel stupid. I should be probably fired. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Did we get a wide receiver? I don't think so. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. All right. Uh, center... Kevin Anthony. That's who they're looking at. Acceptable strength. Exceptional, acceptable. Well, he only needs to pass block, right? He only needs to be able to pass block. James Melendez. Where's he at? Speed, tackling, nope. Kid is fast enough to run your pitches and sweeps. But he has terrible speed? Really? So either my scouts are horrible. <laughs> um, a leader, technique, football IQ, tackling, no. He played at Michigan. That was almost worth just drafting him for that. Um... I guess we're going to go Kevin Anthony, man. Draft the player. I don't see anybody there that was worth a shit. Uh, pick until human. And that's it. All right. So, let's take a look at our roster. All right, we're going to go through here. All right, so there's there's a running back. Worst speed. Okay. We got a new receiver. Worst speed. Yeah, that wasn't a good pickup. What I'm looking at is for the zero in experience. That's our rookies. So we did pick up another center. So, not bad. He's actually better than the free agent that we signed. Oh, no, no. He was the last round pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Armstrong's pretty good. The other guy, eh. 
All right. Um, I am going to. Well, he's 33. God dog it. Defensive tackle. Nope. Nope. All right. We do have three three new linebackers. And they're not the worst. So you know what? Jose Harris. I believe you are going to get cut, sir. All right. Um, can I contract? Release player. Bam. Yes, I do. All right. So you're cut. Corner. All right. Nothing there. All right, roster management, view position counts. So we've got a full roster. What is... There we go. All right, so we're at 94 million, and we have a 100 million salary cap. So we've got a little bit of room, but we have to be careful because we got guys that we might want to re-sign next year. And we were up against the cap, but that was because we had, uh, damn, Prescott's already up for a contract again? Shit. <laughs> um, no, I think we're going to go balanced. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go three years, no, two years. All right, we'll see what that does. I don't know. Um, so what do we need? We don't really need anything then. But I would like, I know what I want to, I know what I want to do. Okay, so let's go in. So this is something that I kind of, have started doing. So we're going to open the bidding. Jordan. Uh, we're going to open the bidding. And yeah, here's the cow. Here's the salary cap, $100 million, 94 million. So we have 5.3 million. So I'm going to sort by overall. I am going to filter. I only want players up to 32. Right. All right, so a lot of receivers. Michael Thomas. So what I, what I usually what I start doing is I start bouncing down the list here and seeing what people are asking. And because what's going to happen is now that they've drafted and you know they may sign some free agents they may release players so you have to kind of watch and then every week these you'll get new players in here possibly uh players asking prices are going to go down so we're looking for value players but like like he would be a value player under two million but i don't need i don't need a cornerback i could use a defensive end but he's a little much but if we clear all these and look at just defensive ends, and we look at sort by speed, so two and a half. Now see, 1.4, 1.1, 1 .1, and he's only 24 years old. So speed, tackling, eh. agility I'd like a little bit higher. Let's see what his stats are. Nothing. He's asking one one to one and a half. Let's offer him a deal. Uh, I'm going to offer rotation in the one three five range. And then what else do we need? Um, is there a really good running back that that would be really good to look at? Two seven one eight three three. Damn. 
Oh, wow, look at that. Look at this guy. 24 years old, Paul McGuire, Jacksonville State. But, yeah, but 79. Um, compare player to our active players. On the Cowboys. Wow. All right, so Watson is a 92, 87, and 80. So, yeah, we're looking for a minimum of an 80 there. All right, so, yeah, nobody's really standing out here. Uh, do I have anybody that's going to be a stellar run blocker? No more than the guy I already signed. All right, well, so let's go ahead and advance here. All right, so finish current day. Okay. Justin Houston out of Georgia, a Five million dollar a year contract. Ooh. All right. Well, Dak is. You know, we're. I mean, we're the leading offer, but that's because it's. All right. So we're the leading offer for the defensive end. I really can't go anywhere else until he decides what he's gonna do. All right. But let's open the bidding again. And let's look at speed again. So he's 22, McCarter. He's only asking for six to seven hundred thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and offer him six to seven. I'm gonna say he's gonna be in the rotation, and we'll offer him six eighty. We'll offer him six eighty. Okay, Hernandez, uh, too much. Is that DJ Metcalf? Oh, DK Metcalf. That's the guy out of Ole Miss that's like that was ripped from the in the draft last year. All right, five hundred thousand for Gamboa. Speed hands could be better. Strong safety. 2.8 million. All right, Juan Butts, 84, but only 53 for his hands. So, yeah, he's not very good either. All right, well, I don't want to go overboard. So, all right, so we only have one guy left. So, week nine, let's see if we're in here anywhere. All right, Ralph Bedford, the defensive end, signed. And we did not get an email about Dak, which I would expect. But we did get the defensive end, so that's good. All right, so we still have the free safety out there. Okay, I don't know if we signed him or not. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Let's check our roster. He was a free safety, yeah? Yes, McCarter. He did sign. Good deal. All right, so we've got him. And that gives us 54 people. All right. Oh, no. Cancel. I haven't set training yet. Um, ah. Training. So, you, you remember over the last few years, we've done... I'm going to raise it just to 23. We usually go to 24, but we always have those guys that are fatigued, right? 
All right. Yeah. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to go back into training. We're going to drop that down. Back to 22. And we still have guys that are fatigued. Doubtful, probable. All right. Let's go to our depth charts. Somewhere. There we are. Uh, all right. Yep, head coach and save. So who's our receivers? Cooper, Ship, and Knowlton will be our number three. Barrera and High Watson will be our two running backs. I think, I don't know, I'm thinking Watson may need to be our main guy, but we'll see. All right, we're going to go with our defensive coordinator here. All right, let's see. So McCarter's going to be number two at safety. Turnbull's going to be, no, it's uh, Covington, Quinn, Jackson. All right. Chubb, Amos, that's uh, our first round pick this year. All right. Uh, Rose, I think, is one of the guys we drafted. Arrington will be coming back from injury. And Denmark will be uh, in the depth chart this year. And special teams. Let's give that to the head coach. Yep. Boswell, Vasquez. All right, so Vasquez is going to be on the practice squad again. All right, let's go ahead and do preseason. 30 to 15. All right, let's go to our depth chart. I want uh, Reuter, Rush, and then Prescott. Then I want High Watson and Ferreira there. Uh, let's go with uh, Knowlton, Cooper, Doyle. Ship, Weathers, and Ship again, I suppose. All right, we'll save that. Just to where, the, you know, we don't want our starters getting hurt, right? Makes sense. 20 to 9. All right, so back to depth chart. All right. Uh, head coach, resave re that. All right. All right. So let's get into the season. We'll go through week six. And y'all realize I'm recording to hear everything y'all talking about? Just saying. All right. So week one. Oh, Cowboys have too many players. Yes, we do. All right. So roster, roster management, uh, da, 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 auto adjust. All right. So we just moved our kicker. That's the only guy we had. That was easy enough. And simulate the week. Bam. All right. So coming off a of Super Bowl season last year, and we are 0-1. Bummer. <sighs> 18 for 86 for High Watson. Pretty happy with that. I'm okay with that. We didn't play horribly. Um... We gave up 400 yards, 100, yeah. I think it's more of a defense thing there. All right. All right, week two. Simulate the week. All right, we win that one in overtime against Detroit.
Oh, Matt Ryan is playing for uh, Detroit now. Interesting. Uh, High Watson and M Michael Barrera both scored on touchdown runs. Prescott looked pretty good, 37 of 53. Only two and a half yards of carry. That's not good. Cooper, nine for 172. All right. So we're having trouble running the ball. Trade offer. Okay. Oh, cancel trade screen. They want Xavier Suafilo, and they want to give us another guard and a fifth rounder. Well, I like picks. Alex Kappa. Uh, let's go look at roster. Okay, we're going to delay this. All right, roster, guards. All right, he is 33. All right, he's only played in one game, so he's not a starter. He's a backup, and he's 33. All right, the other team is Tampa Bay... Tampa Bay roster guard. Who was it? Was it Kappa? All right, he's just pretty average. I mean, he, he's, he's a decent blocker. He's played two games, not a starter. So he he'd be he wouldn't be a starter for us, right? Gets rid of an older player and gives us a was it Kappa? Let me look at the uh I know, god damn. It was Kappa. So just a slight downgrade probably saves us some money, right? Let's look at uh, yeah, he's making two point two six, so that would save us some money, and we'd give get a fifth round pick. Sure, I'll take that. We'll do that. All right, so I need to go back into depth chart. All right, and we're going to go there. All right, save the package. Emails. All right. Week three. We're sitting one and one in the early going. Oh, wow. And this was, <laughs> we were actually playing Tampa that week. 30 to 16. Sweet. All right. Boswell, Barrera, a couple of one yard runs. Ship got a touchdown pass. Prescott, 14 to 22. That's not great. Cooper Rush. Yeah, we're not running the ball very well. Let's see if uh, Barrera, Collins. Let's try to see if uh, if our offensive lineman got into the game. I don't think so. All right, let's check our early standings. Two and one. We're in a three-way tie. All right. Well, yeah, we already did the trade, dumbass. <laughs> All right. We made the deal. All right, simulate week, Arizona. Dallas wins. We're three and one. All right, maybe it was just an early hiccup. Prescott, 21 out of 34. Barrera, 
That's better. That's better. Eight for one twenty seven. Just I'm I'm just glancing down here to see if uh if our guy if our new player got in the game. I don't think so. All right, let's see. Nothing there. Yeah, whatever. Yep, yep, yep. All right, week five. Oh, uh, big win over Philadelphia. That's big. Is that Aaron Rodgers? Ooh, Scott Arrington, our, our uh, rookie corner that got hurt last year. 87-yard pick six. And Aaron Rodgers is playing for the Eagles. Really? Aaron's got a little sun lately. Wonder if he, uh, history. Week three. Are we in 2000? No, we're in 2024. So we got to scroll down. A fractured eye socket. Ouch. Signed to a free agent deal. 4.9. That's a pretty good deal for him. But he is 41. Yeah, 41. Wow. 20,000 yards. 80. 146 touchdowns. All right, let's see. Prescott, 12 of 17. All three of our quarterbacks played. What is that noise? What's that noise? Oh, okay. I'm like, what is that? I thought it was something outside. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, Watson and Dion averaged over seven yards a carry. Barrera. Yeah, we're just not running the ball well at all. At all. Man. All right. Uh, all right, week six. So this will uh, end up the first episode here for the season. 27. So after that first loss, we go 5-0. Uh, five game winning streak, two division, three, uh, two divisional games. That's great. All right, Barrera, Cooper, an eighty yard pass. Fagan, a seven yard pass. Duke Johnson, Prescott, twenty two of thirty four. I like that. Two ninety, two touchdowns. Cooper Rush, he's getting the backup time. Is our other guy injured? We'll have to go look at injuries. He may be out. Barrera and Watson both go for 50 yards. 4.3 yards a carry between them. I can live with that. Cooper's having a huge year. 37 catches, 754 yards. So he's halfway to last year's total numbers. He's on track for a career year. Three touchdowns, so he's on track to match that. So nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, let's see. Are we here? Yes. All right. So emails. Nothing, nothing. All right. Stats, standings. All right. So Detroit, Chicago, Green Bay, all four and two. Tight race in the north. Atlanta. Has a half game lead over Tampa Bay, Saints, and Panthers a little off the pace. We're five and one. The Giants are the only one close to us, thanks to their win in the first game. And uh, the Redskins are looking for their first win. Uh, th three teams with three wins. The Rams at one and five, bringing up the rear. And then over in the uh, north, Pittsburgh six and zero. Oh. Speaking of Pittsburgh, did you guys see that play in the game Thursday night? So when you see this, this might go up Saturday. The Pittsburgh-Cleveland game from Thursday night where uh, Miles Garrett ripped off my, uh, Mason Rudolph's helmet and clocked him in the head. Oh, my God. I was like, I can't believe that. Uh, Jacksonville, 6-0, and oh, two games up on the Texans. Buffalo's 5-1. and one. And the Chargers five and one, Raiders at one and five. 
All right. Well, let's see. A quick look at statistics. 67%. It doesn't look that good when I'm looking at the individual games. I know he's over 50%, but that's actually pretty good. 10 touchdowns, 3 picks. I can't complain about that. Uh, Reuter has only had one pa two passes. Uh, I do want to go look at him before we leave. Uh, Barrera, 262 and five touchdowns. Nobody's running well, but all, all three running backs are 3.4 to 3.9. Um, I think, while I'm thinking about it, I want to go here. I want to put High Watson in there and Barrera behind him. And that would put Dion here and Barrera there. Okay. Um Team News. Stress fracture. Oh, Dion has a stress fracture. What is the deal? All right, depth chart again, right here. Wow, did it really? No, I want Ruder there, not Rush. All right, so the coach put him there. Fair enough. Um, roster, roster. Positions. All right, uh, accuracy. So they're actually even. Oh, actually, Rush has the better accuracy, but that's, yeah. Um, better intelligence, Rooter. And arm is like the least concern, right? Arm. So, yeah, I want Reuter in there. I want to try to give him time to develop. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think of the draft. Kind of slim pickings being down at 31 overall in each round. Let me know what you think of the trade uh, that we did with Tampa Bay after week two. And um, kind of a brutal loss to the Giants, but... You know, you're not going to go undefeated. We're not the 72 Dolphins, right? Um, hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Again, don't forget we'll be doing a game giveaway for this uh, around Christmas. But the the uh, I'll put a video out around Thanksgiving, so in about two weeks. So just keep an eye out for that if you're interested. And uh, if you have friends that want to enter, tell them to come check out the videos and uh, see what the game's about. And, uh, you know, we're going to give away a code for uh, for this game, Draft Day Sports uh, Pro Football 20 from Wolverine Studios. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.